Like everybody, this weekend, Portland is hosting its 81st annual Strawberry Festival. I'm now joined live on the phone by Sherry Ferguson of the Portland Chamber of Commerce to talk more about what we can expect. Sherry, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. This is very, very exciting. You're 81st, so this, this is really a tradition for the Portland community, right? It is. You know, we only canceled twice, once for World War II and once for COVID. So, wow. Um, so, so other than that, we have uh, continued the tradition of the Strawberry Festival, um, you know, since uh, since 1940. Wow. Yeah, definitely going on for a long time. And that's because a lot of people love it and have heard great things about the Strawberry Festival. So tell us a little bit about what's on tap for tonight, Sherry, the Strawberry Jam concert and the fireworks, right? Yes. So we will have uh, Strawberry Jam is our concert and fireworks. Uh, music starts at 5. We'll have 12 food trucks here, along with our local restaurants that will be open. They're in walking distance as well. But uh, the music starts at 5. We have axe throwing. So if you want to come and get a little bit of frustration out, you can, you can get in the cage and throw the axe too. So we'll have a lot of activities like that going on. But it starts at 5. The main headliner is Resurrection, which is a Journey tribute band. And they're um, phenomenal. So we're excited about them coming back again this year. Oh, awesome. Exciting. And it's so the end of the work key. week. So the axe throwing, I'm sure, will come in handy for a lot of people. You said parking just now, Sherry? Yes, parking is um, is uh, going to be a shuttle. So mm -hmm. you can park at Portland High School, which is 600 College Street. So just park at the high school. The shuttle will bring you right downtown, and you don't have to worry about searching for a parking space because it becomes a hectic for parking uh, in the downtown area during the festivities and we'll have shuttles also on Saturday so you're just parking at the high school riding the shuttle over and then you get let off right in the middle of everything okay and we're looking at great advice on the parking that's always one of my first things I think about when going to one of these events uh, so the actual festival day is tomorrow we we're just showing a clip of the parade so kind of give us a timeline of what we can expect tomorrow Sherry so um, the pancake breakfast starts at 7. Mm -hmm. We have a 5K run at 8. We have the vendors are open at 9. We'll have over 200 vendors here. Um, we'll have music starting at 9. We have uh, two music stages and a magic show stage. We'll have robo cars. We have a kid town area where $5 you get an armband and the kids can play all day so they can play a while. You can walk them around to the vendors and come back and play a little bit more. So um, so a lot of activities going on and the parade starts at four o'clock. OK, awesome. This sounds like a jam packed weekend of fun and it's all a tradition. So thank you so, so much for taking the time, Sherry, to come and talk with us about the Strawberry Festival. Yes, thank you. So, you know, come on out, check out our website, www.middletennesseestrawberryfestival.com. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. And the website, guys, is very, very helpful. We're also going to add a link to this at wkaren.com. We'll have the entire segment posted in the newsmaker section.